Hello everyone, I am Kapokandam Patori and this is my CC470 project. My project name is Online Movie Ticket Buying System. In this web application, admin can upload movie, update movie information and also can delete a particular movie. On the other hand, user can search for a movie and buy movie ticket, also can refund movie ticket. To purchase a movie ticket, user has to provide the payment transaction ID and then admin will manually verify the payment. I have used the Spring Boot to complete my project. To follow the MVC pattern, I have separated the model view and the controller part. You can see here's my controller part and in the double repository, I have put the model part and lastly, here's my view part where I have put the all the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now let's run our project as Spring Boot. It will take a while. Okay, we can see our project is up and running. Now let's go to the local host. My local server port number is 9292. After going to the local host, we can see the landing page. At first, our user has to complete his registration. So let's click on the sign up page. And now we can have the registration form. Let's provide the necessary information here. I have kept all the fields as required. So one has to provide all the information to successfully complete the registration. First, let our user don't select the accept terms and condition and submit. Then he will get a message saying you have not agreed the terms and condition. So let's provide the password again and this time select accept terms and condition and submit. Now we'll have a message saying successfully registered. Then going to the login part, login page, give the user name, pass, mail and user password. Let's say we provide a wrong password and submit me. Then we'll have a message saying invalid username or password. Let's give the correct password now, now and try to login. We can see we have successfully logged in and we are here in the user dashboard where in the left side we can see our responsive sidebar. Now let's see what are the movies that we can buy ticket. Here we can see a lot of movies here. I have implemented page initiation here for which in each page we can see up to five movies. All of these movies have been uploaded by our admin. Let's look at our table then we'll see I have already created a user setting the role as role admin. Now let's see how our admin can upload a movie. Before doing so, let's log in as an admin. Giving the username and password, we are now, we can see, we have successfully logged in as an admin. Now see how our admin can upload a movie. So here is the form of upload movie. Let's fill up the form with necessary information. Now simply click on the upload movie and we can have a message new movie has been successfully uploaded. Now let's verify in our movie list page. Simply refresh this page and we can have our new uploaded movie here. Now if admin wants to update any information regarding this movie, can click on the update button and for sale let's change Hawkeye to Hawkeye 2. Also let's choose another poster for this movie. Simply now click on the update movie and we have a message movie updated successfully. Also can see the new movie poster and new movie name. Let's verify in the movie list and we can also see the change here. Now, for say the admin wants to delete this movie. For that, he can click on this delete button and we can see the movie has been gone. Also, movie has been deleted successfully. Message has been arrived. Now, we are interested to see how a user can buy movie ticket in this website. To buy ticket, a user has to click on the buy ticket button and give how many seats he wants to buy and the transaction ID and then the mobile number and then click on buy movie ticket and we can have a message ticket successfully purchased. Let's buy another ticket. Now this time let's just use the search functionality. From here let's click the Spider-Man mobile home. Let's choose eight tickets and give the transaction ID and also the number and click on buy movie ticket. Now let's see if in our my watch list. Now we can see our watch list is empty and it's because if we see on our transaction history we can see our payment status is, is on process. This payment status will be updated updated from the admin end. Now let's go to the admin side and click on the update payment status. Let's update one and reject another one. Now let's check in our user side. We can see we have a payment status confirmed and another is rejected. And if we see in our watch list, we will see 
our watch list as a one movie ticket. Now for sale, let's try another one. Let's approve it. And we will see that on process has been changed to confirmed. And also we, here we can see another movie here. The admin can see all the transaction history by clicking on this all transaction history. Here you can see he has confirmed two and rejected one. Now if a user wants to refund ticket, then he or she can click on cancel ticket and say he wants to refund three ticket. Simply click on refund movie ticket and we can have a message ticket has been successfully refunded and we have five tickets left. To verify it, we check our user profile. Now we can see we have 2,800 taka refunded. Now for say we want someone wants to refund 10 ticket but he has purchased 5 ticket. If we click on refund movie ticket then we will see a message you have not purchased that many tickets. Now for say we want to uh, refund all of our ticket for say simply click A and refund all our movie ticket then the movie will be gone from our watch list and we can see in our refund option now it is 5200 and the another the last option is simply the logout so that's everything about my project uh, thank you very much